Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, Dumb Biz Nerd review. Today we are taking a look at the Busby Ow. Easy Fire Rifle. It's a semi new Busby Blaster that, that is a Target exclusive, exclusive that came out in, in late summer, mid to late summer of this year. This year is, of course, 2023. So this is made by Busby. Busby is not known for making high quality products because of things like the Tetra shot, which was probably supposed to be a four shot shotgun type blaster, but it was not. It was just, it just, so you pump it, fire one dart, pump it again, fire one dart, pump it again, another dart, pump it again, another dart, pump it again, chain rotates. This is legitimately lever action. Not in the fact like a lev like a typical lever gun, like my scavenger that I have over here. This is lever action. You do that to prime it. This I'm reviewing in the next episode of, of the reviews. This, you prime up, and then down, and it fire. And it does have slam fire, which means when you hold down the trigger, prime it back, prime it forward, and you just constantly prime it back and forth, you can fire gives you a higher fast, it gives you a faster fire rate, but a bit of a decrease in accuracy, as you can see here, like that. And the coolest feature of all is an end strike attachment, an end strike stock attachment point. Is this thing right here. It's an end strike stock attachment point. And this is the stock it comes with. A buffer tube stock. Which, which has multiple adjustments. And just attaches on like that. Then to remove it, just press down on that and it slides right off. As you can see right there, if you apply too much pressure on the stock, like, like that, it will, it will go back. And ergonomics, it's surprisingly ergonomic. That is, this is the grip. It's an actually good grip. Which is a shocker from Busby because they haven't been able to make a, a human wieldable grip in a long time since the Sentinel. And though it does have these things, this one juts into my uh, ring finger a little bit. It's actually pretty comfy. And this is the foregrip. The foregrip is actually pretty comfy because your fingers naturally want to go into these grooves right here. And because it actually feels really comfy. It also has a carry handle, though the carry handle is very off balance and you can only put two fingers on it. And you're supposed to lift up like that and then forward. And, and this is actually magazine fed. So you prime that back and prime. So you prime it back, shove in a, one of the new magazines that they made, similar to the tornado. It has a lightning symbol right there. And these are end strike compatible, as I can show you here. The scavenger. <coughs> you just put that in, and it works. Although it is a bit stiff, 
and it does not work well in the nerf and strike raven. It gets a little bit stuck, but you can still take it out. But I would just like recommend getting like a, like an 18 round drum, 25 round drum, or a 35 round drum instead of just these 14, these 14 round banana magazines. And when you prime it back, you are not able to pull the trigger. It has a lock. But however, it does not have a lock to how many times you can prime it. Like that. It also has exposed internals right there. You can see a spring. You might not be able to see it on my camera though, but it's there. Trust me. It also... So you prime it forward and just do it a few times. The dart does not actually chamber, which means if you go, oh, I didn't actually mean to do that, but that was not what was supposed to happen. It was supposed to be, oh, I didn't actually mean to prime that. Prime it back, take it out. And there's none chamber. Which is cool. And now I can give you a picture of the iron sights. Those are the iron sights. They're actually pretty good. But I might actually melt the middle of that off. Because I do still want to see the front sight. Which looks a bit weird. And speaking of weirdness looking, let's talk about the muzzle brake. Since this is not a Nerf brand blaster, there is no end strike barrel lug. Obviously. And there is no rails anywhere on here. Whatsoever. There is these bumpy thingies, but I think that's just to help you, like, put your thumb on top of it. And it actually looks pretty cool. It looks like a sci-fi laser rifle. It's getting kind of dark out here. But now I will give you a firing demo. Got to turn the rock around. Prime it forward. Insert magazine. Prime it forward. Now these are flat shots. As you can see, they actually go kind of far. Let me see if I can zoom to where the darts are. So let me see if I can find them. Where did the darts go? Where, 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 where'd they go? Well, they did land somewhere there. Which is about... I'd say probably about a good 30 feet. Now, let's do... How far can it fire angled? Now, I will have to go all the way over here to do this because it actually has a decent amount of power to it. Set my phone down. Oh god. Right here. Okay, I'm in a crouching position right now. <laughs> At a moderate angle. That cleared the fence. I am not getting that dart back ever. And the cool feature is... It's supposed to mag drop. I guess it doesn't mag... It, it, it doesn't want to mag drop anymore. Which is a bit sad. I'm also breaking my arm, don't just hold this. But... Now comes my overall opinion of this. Would I... Would I say... To buy this? I would say yes. It comes with two. It comes with two 
of these 14 round magazines, which are transparent, which means you can see your ammo, which is a good thing. In most cases, of course. It comes with two magazines, the blaster, an end strike compatible buffer tube stock, and 28 darts for only $20. And since it's Black Friday, you can probably get deals for this thing around $15. I would actually highly recommend you to buy this. Even full price, it is still a good price to pay for this thing. Now, as the name suggests, it is easy to fire. You just pull that back and then forward. It is very easy to prime. But don't let you... But don't wait for the... I don't know how to word this, but... Don't let the uh, mechanics fool you, because guess what the FPS is? If you guessed 80 to 85, you would be correct. Not 50 or 60 that Busby is known for. 80 to 85. And that noise is quite silent. So if you would like to use this to like, I don't know, like, like quietly shoot them with a dart, yes, I would actually recommend this. But its real, like, purpose is to like, just like, like hit fire it. Because since its mechanism is a bit off, it's not as weird as the diatron, which is just... Ant, ant, just like, ant, ant. This is literal, it is literally a lever. So would I recommend you to buy this? Yes, it's a good deal. It's practically a steal. You get two magazines, 28, 28 platypus darts, as they are called, because they look like a platypus. Let me see if I have any. Ah, oh, yes, I do, I do actually have a couple of darts. It came it comes with. That is the dart head. As you can see, Busby is starting to come into the waffle head game, which is much better than their glue darts that they are known for. So yeah, the ergonomics are good, the price is right, and the power is great. So, bye guys.